Hey there. Ladies and gentlemen, you will be amazed with the cooperative discipline model. You heard it here first, and you heard it here right. Cooperative discipline model. Your students will feel capable, they'll be able to connect with their peers and teachers, and contribute during whole class discussions. If you're interested, stay tuned to what we have to say about the cooperative discipline model. So if you have students that are misbehaving during the whole class discussion, and have class clowns that are trying to gain attention, or have a class like this one, listen up. Good morning, class. Today we're going to go over multiplication. Let's start out with 4 times 4. Who can tell me what 4 times 4 is? Uh, <laughs> Julia, can you tell me what 4 times 4 is? Do you know what 4 times 4 is? Okay. How about Ashley? Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> What's 4 times 4? 21. No, not 21. Lewis, help her out. What's 4 what times that? 4? <laughs> Can you repeat the question? 4 times 4. 42. How about 16? What are you girls doing? Let's put that phone away, please. Ashley, 4 yes. times 5. Let's, let's take a break. Ready? Ashley, One. 4 Two. times 5. Ash. No? Alright. What's 4 times 5, Lewis? 21. Can you hear me, Lewis? What's going on? 4 times 5 is 20. What I is need y'all's attention. Ashley. What? So boring. What is 4 times 6? 5 minutes is 24. We don't care. I don't care for your attitude is what I don't care for. Alright. If this is your classroom, don't quit just yet. What you need is the cooperative discipline model. That's right, you heard it. Cooperative discipline model. Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning Ms. G. G. Today we're going to practice our multiplication tables. So let's start out with Julia. Julia, yes, can you tell me what 4 times 4 is? 16. 16. Very good. Does anybody know what 4 times 5 is? Lewis, thank you for raising your hand. 20. 20. Very good. I can see y'all have been practicing. 4 times 6. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Can you? Okay. Lewis, can you give her a hint as to what 4 times 6 is? Add 4 to 5. 4 times 5. 4 so times 5 plus 4. Is it 24? Very good. I like the thinking process. Good job. Can somebody raise their hand and tell me what 4 times 7 is? Julia. 28. Excellent. Y'all have been doing your homework. Last one. Four times eight. Who can tell me? Lewis. 32. I love your enthusiasm. Yes. Well, thank you for such a good class. Everybody got their answers right. Y'all were cooperative. Y'all raised your hand. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. G. Good morning, class. Today we're going to go over multiplication tables with tens. This should be exciting. We've gone over the fours and fives. Ten times two. Who can tell me what ten times two is? Anybody? Just Lewis? What are you doing this? I seriously hate school so much. Well, school can be fun. What's ten times two? Why do we need to know this anyways? Twenty. Very good. Twenty. I need a little bit more cooperation here, guys. A little bit more involvement. Ten times six. We went over this. I'm leaving. Ten times. Julia? Hold on, Julia. Ashley, Julia. Did you not get enough sleep last night, Ashley? I need some feedback, guys. Lewis, help us out, Lewis. Ten times six. Sixty. I don't know it. Ten times three. I don't know it. Come on. We'll have a party after this. Does everybody get this right? I need 10 times 3. I don't care if you have a party. 10 times 3, 30. Can y'all write this down? Like Nobody's eight. writing. I need writing. Where did Julia go? She left. 10 times 7. Last one, guys. Last one, and then we're done. 10 times 7. Can somebody see if Julia... Soul sucks. There she is, 70. Very good, Julia. So I know we've all had these situations where we have a classroom full of negative people and negative Nancys everywhere. But with the cooperative discipline model, we can turn those frowns upside down. 
Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, Ms. G. How's everybody doing today? Lewis, how are you doing? I'm excellent. How was your weekend? Julia? It was fabulous. I'm so happy to be back. Ashley, are you ready to work? I'm actually really ready to work. Let's Good get job. This started. Good job. Let's start off our multiplications with 10 times 2. Can I get somebody to raise their hand? Julia. 20. 20. Awesome job. I am so proud Yay. of you. High five. Let's high five to you. Good job. Next one. Who wants to volunteer to do 10 times 6? I like your enthusiasm, Lewis. 10 times 6. 60. 60. Awesome. Ashley, are you ready? I think I am. You pick one. Which one do uh, you do? I'm going to do the 10 times 7. It's going to be 70. 70. I really like the fact that you're raising your hands and y'all are working together. One more. 10 times 3. 10 times 3. I'll do it again. Julia. 30. 30. Y'all did so well today. I'm proud of the fact that everybody knew the answer, so that tells me that you studied. And I'm proud that you're raising your hands. And we're having a really good class day. Are you this teacher, having a hard time getting your students to listen, help out in class, and have a lack of parent involvement? Watch this clip, see if it's you. Ashley, is there any way that you can please get off your phone and throw away the trash? Um, last time I checked, this wasn't my trash, so I'm not going to throw it away. I understand that, but in my classroom, we all work together as a whole, and we help each other out. Can you please do that for me? Um, why can't the person whose trash that belongs to throw it away? Ashley, I think I see your mom out in the hallway. I want to see what she has to say about this. Okay, um, Ashley's mom, Miss Gina, can you come in yes. here, please? Hi. Hi. Um, your daughter Ashley isn't wanting to help out in my class and throw away some trash that I asked her, and she definitely won't get off her cell phone. Is there any it's way to touch your trash? Is it? No. No, she doesn't have those trash away. Mm, told you. Okay, but in my class, we do help each other out, so will you help me? I'm sorry, ma'am. My situation? daughter does not come to school to pick up trash. She comes here to learn. Ashley, is there any way you can please get off your phone and throw away the trash? Miss, I really would. But this really isn't my trash, and I don't feel like it's okay for me to throw someone else's trash away. But in my classroom, we all help each other, and you can throw away the trash that you see on your desk or on the floor. Well, is that person going to throw away that trash over there? Whenever I ask them to, will you please get off your phone and throw that trash away? Miss, really? I don't feel comfortable throwing away that trash. It's not you know mine. what? I see your mom right on the hallway. Uh, Miss Gina, can you yes. come in here, please? Hi, Ashley's not willing to help out in my classroom and throw away her trash. Is there any way you can back me up in this situation? i tell you what, Ashley, what happens at home when I ask you to do something? I get up and do it. Okay, so when Miss Julia asks you to do something, it's really respectful and part of the classroom rules that you do this. But Mom, it's not even my mess. I understand, but sometimes somebody will do something for you. And she's asking you to do it, so go ahead and do it, just okay. like you would do for me. Thank you, and we all help you, um, each other out in this class. So if Great. she could just help out another student, that would be really nice. Fine. Thank you, Miss Ashley. I really appreciate you doing that. You did a really good job. Thank you, Ashley. Welcome, Mom. Thank you, Miss Gina. You know what? I find it easy to you Oh, Ava, you're back. So have you seen? Yeah. We've had some different issues in classrooms, and there's ways to solve them. So if you want your students to be connected with one another, and if you want yeah. them to contribute to yeah, whole class discussions, like, right and to be now, capable of understanding and participating in the classroom, then you need the cooperative okay. discipline model. That's right. You heard it. I'll say it again. Cooperative discipline model. And they're just two easy, low payments of $19.99. Just call us right now, 1-800-COOPERATIVE. You need it. Classroom needs it, we got it. Class cooperative discipline model. So in the classroom, you will see tons of examples of how you can use the cooperative discipline model. For instance, you've got students who seek attention. You've got students who are seeking power. You've got students who are seeking revenge. And you've got students who just want to avoid failure. And now we'll show you how we can use it. So with the cooperative discipline model in the classroom, you'll help your students learn to choose responsible behavior. They'll develop positive relationships between teachers and students that will extend to even other teachers, students, administrators, and parents. And this will help the goal become a reality. It is the combination of intervention strategies to deal with moment misbehavior, encouragement strategies to build self-esteem, and collaboration strategies that involve students and teachers as partners, which enables them to reach the goal of students to choose positive behavior. Educators and students work cooperatively to create a safe and orderly inviting community. 
a sense of correctness and belonging, and an opportunity to turn mistakes into learning experiences. So there are six steps to resolve a conflict. First, define the problem. Second, declare the need. Third, describe feelings. Fourth, discuss pros and cons to possible solutions. Five, decide the best solutions for all. And six, follow up meeting to determine the effectiveness of the plan. Okay, so if you are gonna use a consequence in your classroom, follow these four R's. Consequence is directly related to the misbehavior. Consequence is reasonable and appropriate to the misbehavior. Consequence is Consequences evoked respectfully in a friendly but firm manner. Consequence is reliable. Consequences are reliable, consistent, and predictable. But don't just take my word for it. Take the word of a seasoned professional teacher. I bought into the cooperative discipline model back in 2015. Before, my students were never listening. I had zero parent involvement and they weren't focused. I had to encourage them to participate. I was so stressed and would bring that stress home and then it would bother me and I wouldn't be able to be the teacher I needed to be the next day. Now that I have the model, my students are capable, connected, and they contribute and they work great together. I have great small group discussions and whole class discussions. I considered changing my career just because it was so bad, but when I got the cooperative discipline model, things completely changed. I highly recommend it to all teachers and all grades.